Have there always been a number of different types of teleprompters? There's basically, there's many different kinds, so we always find out, the prompter company is responsible to find out what type of venue, what type of event are we going to. So for a video shoot, a corporate training tape, a 30 second tel television spot, PSA, anything in the video arena we bring a setup of they let us know that the talent's going to speak into the camera. Right. It's going to go in front of the camera on a stand, freestanding, where we can move it anywhere we want to as you pull the camera away. Uh, the mounted uh, uh, setup goes onto your tripod so that when they pull the tripod wherever they want to, the prompter goes with it. So we bring uh, various types of camera setups. It's our job to find out what type of camera are they going to be using, what is the weight of your tripod, is our monitor going to be um, too heavy if they're bringing a little DV camera, is your camera going to be moving, is it going to be on a dolly. So there's many different questions that you need to ask before you actually arrive on the job. What, what's this equipment right here that, that you have? When we get our script from our client, whether we get it via email, they could bring it on a flash drive, they save it to us as a Word doc, we go ahead and input it onto, into our program here. So when they're rehearsing off the other monitor, the one that they're going to either be talking into camera or speaking from a podium, um, this is where we follow, the, follow along with them. And then this is our hand control, so we can speed up, we can go slower, if they want to ad lib, we would mark the script ad lib if, they, if there are specific places that th we know they're going to go off the copy. This one is special because it, it just has so many different capabilities. I can hit a memory if I'm doing a video shoot so I don't have to sit here and scroll back and forth. If we're doing take after take, I can go by one button and get right back to where I need to be. My goal is I wanted to be the fastest in the world so we can be able to jump wherever we need to go into the script. I can load a series of up to probably 75 scripts at one time and previous and next if I have people that want to do changes on so many different files all I need to do is hit previous next and get me back and forth to different scripts that are loaded. Mm. We can do a search for a word. I can inverse the script, make it white on black. We have many, many different ways to get around a very large script. Mm. We can set a memory if we're doing take after take and save that spot so if we need to go back to that spot right away we can get right back by a touch of a button. Huh. We can make the size of the font as large as the client would like. And we can color the letters, we can underline the letters, we can bold the letters, we can, pre we can center the text, we can pretty much do whatever the talent would like to do so they can feel comfortable reading the teleprompter. It basically will take you to become so fast, quick, that the line of waiting on prompter does, ne does not exist. This is the teleprompter. So this is the teleprompter. The camera goes right behind it. We adjust the height of the stand to the height of the camera. The stand can lower if we're shooting where they're talking at a couch. The camera goes right through here where my fingers are. Okay. okay. Huh. And this tightens up and see and then you get the uh, you get the the lens as close as you can to the glass one other thing I probably should tell you because if I don't they'll probably be saying this about me too a man down in Texas heard Pat on the radio mention the fact that our two youngest would like to have a dog it was a little cocker spaniel dog in a crate that he'd sent all the way from Texas black and white spotted and our little girl, Trisha, named it Checkers. It's a very specialized teleprompter glass, has a special coating on it, and just it, so the words are able to read the best they can. Mm. Neat. What are some of, the way, some of the many ways that a teleprompter can be used? Because we, we know about the politicians, we know about the newscasters, but it seems like there might be corporate meetings but there, there might be a lot of other sort of arenas where one wouldn't necessarily think of how beneficial a teleprompter could be. We do press events. We, we travel with car shows. So when a new car is being released on the convention floor at the auto show, they are speaking about the car 
from a teleprompter because it's so vital. They don't want to miss one fact. You have all the press there. You don't want to miss one fact about that vehicle. Right. So teleprompters are crucial. Wherever you're going to go to do this job, they're saying something important if they're going to have you there in the first place. Mm -hmm. So it's so grand to be able to put them at ease and they know that you are there just solely for them. Right. And if they want to rehearse at dinner, you know, backstage, just to be calm, that's her job. To put them at ease so they can go out there and not feel like they're reading and just give their speech. Mm -hmm.